Hi there. So reason 13 is out and it's all about workflow improvements. So let's see how it compares to the reason 12 and uh, do small comparison between reason 12 and 13 and what are the kind of main workflow improvements in reason 13. So let's get going. Okay, so in reason 12, when you were selecting, for example, presets, and let's say that you you have your browser closed and you go and you open a, a setting for, for your patches. So you want to open a browse and, and browse patches. It will open a browser over here. And then of course you can go and select, select your patch and, and, and so on and so forth. But it will always kind of open up the browser. And, and take your focus away a bit from the instrument and and then also like open up the whole landscape over here. So that is something that has changed in reason 13 and we will soon see how that is different. Another workflow matter that is in, uh, in reason 12 in a way that when you have your arrangement view over here and you might have multiple um, you know um, instruments and tracks and then once you go into edit mode being that edit on audio or a midi clip it will actually eat up the whole space so you don't see your arrangement view but you see only the piano roll and then the midi clip that you are editing so so that is also the one big workflow change that is taking place in reason 13. So these are the two main things. So let's review those in now in reason 13 and how they differ compared to reason 12. Okay, folks, here we have it, uh, reason 13. And um, as you can see from the outset, there are similarities, but the, the UX improvements also you can see right away. For example, you can see devices here and you can open and close. Let's see what it does when I do that. Okay, so it's a um, previous versions browser setting so that you can basically open the same key short keyboard shortcut works here to open and close that one. Then uh, you can go into the mixer with the uh, previous uh, keyboard shortcut. So good thing is that Re Reason Studio hasn't changed the keyboard shortcut. You can easily go from a sequencer to a browser to and, and open and close the browser and your devices. So, so you can do that very quickly and easily. Uh, let's open up the browser. Um, and here now you can see that in the recent 12 you saw also the presets in the same uh, view and in, in in some respect it was a bit challenging because you want to basically see your instrument or you want to see your effects and 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 so so let's go actually and find one new thing also in reason is a uh, polytone so let's take that as an example so let's bring that into into our rack and here is also now it was maybe someone were like thinking that you know how to flip the rack in the first first place so now there is a button to do that even though it's a tab in your keyboard so that you can easily go between the back and forth of your rack and now when i'm in um, in this view this is the biggest change now compared on browsing the patches. So as you saw in um, reason 12, it opens up next to the browser where you have your instrument effects, utilities and so on and so forth. But here, let's see what happens when I press this one. Boom. And you have your own window from where you can actually now go and browse your presets so you can easily go and change the preset and 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 have it like changed and and the same thing here in a polytone so you can go into and le like let's select a ne neon skyline and here i guess you can also now morph as they be so 
so yeah but yeah that is one of the new instruments but the the one that relates to the workflow is that while you go into the browsing your batches it does not kind of change your layout at all also you could have your devices uh, uh, closed for example and um, let's bring the rack not mixer but let's bring the rack here so now when I'm here and I want to have maybe a poly monotone so if I at all want to change these settings like for the echo or or what or whatever the instrument might be on an effect I don't need to anymore be disturbed by the device or the browser bump um, kind of jumping out from the left in my eyes this is actually a great improvement for the workflow at least I feel it so I've been testing this in my my computer now for a while and I, I can see this is a beneficial also as they say that if you want to now look into strings they they have labeled everything so you can easily go and find presets also for each and every instrument new ones old ones and so on and so forth and then of course another one is that basically now the browser is only listing the effects instruments and and utilities that you would like to use or players so that for example if i would like to now take um, a baseline generator and put it here so i have it now here and and i can easily then go there and close it when i don't need it but then again also if i would like to do something over here change the preset for this one i just click here and uh, let's say that I want to have an acid house type of a pattern so I say that it's a lot lot more quicker but anyway let's do so that uh, let's kill this one from uh, from our settings and uh, let's bypass it so that now whatever we play from the keyboard it does not uh, affect through the player or or so the next big thing in reason 13 is that when you have multiple tracks and maybe we'll take some let's take some devices so that uh, you can see that okay there are plenty of tracks and uh, different type of instruments okay let's bring them here let's bring for example like spring kong for example and and so on and so forth so that we have multiple tracks in in our arrangement view what's great now if i go here and i create the midi clip and then if i would like to go and edit the midi clip and i double click over here i actually get turned into um, midi editor that does not anymore take the whole landscape and I can even now stretch my arrangement view and see that you know how um, how the different you know MIDI parts and and maybe audio files are are in that and then again when I go into that MIDI clip so I can easily move from a MIDI clip to another and and so the editor also changes at uh, in real time and and it would also do the same for the audio if I would have some audio audio tracks over here and audio clips so I can go from into an audio clip and then start immediately editing and now I can go and edit whatever I want here and and this is extremely convenient so uh, if I now give the whole landscape for the for the sequencer you can see that you know I have everything now easily here I can jump into and let's go and uh, do a drum pattern over here so uh, we want to do some small drum pattern and uh, have some some things over there so again moving from a clip to another will in real time change and I think also of course the editor changes if you go into a piano roll or you are in a drum so it changes the way you know your editor is working and um, and is layouting like the drum editor or piano roll or even it basically then does this um, um, 
kind of like uh, editor for for basically multi-lane or rex edit as they say so you you have these options you have key edit drum edit and rex edit so you basically get based on the instrument the different type of editor in place and as i said uh, if you would have an audio file over here you could basically get an audio file also so that's significant improvement in workflow i would say and makes things a lot more easy to kind of play around in in your uh, arrangement and then one other thing is that now when i'm here and i'm uh, i opening a rack if i want to go as we already looked if i would like to go and change basically patch i can do that quickly and then i return to my sequencer and i want to kind of okay program things um easily so i can jump around in the arrangement view at the same time i can edit things in um, in a piano roll or drum editor extremely handy a lot of good improvements in reason 13 check it out but from a workflow point of view these were the two main improvements they do make sense they do make um, editing and creating song a lot more easy and and more fluent so great workflow improvements all together for reason 13 okay Okay, let's jump into Reason Companion uh, for the Reason 13. And here you can see that they have up updated some of the instruments and then there are some new ones. And of course, I want to install them all in order to use them. Also, what I saw that there are some uh, new refills, uh, drum supply and loop supply, so I can install those and, and get those as well part of my setup. And then these are already the ones that are built in, so those of course are installed with the software itself. So it's good to also sneak peek into the recent companion and see, you know, what is there as, as, as a kind of a new instrument. But okay, let's go back to the reason and the workflow improvements. So when it comes to reason 13 and the workflow improvements, I hope you got the main two things, like browsing the presets or patches, as well as the, the sequencer changes, so that now you can see a arrangement view while editing MIDI clips and audio files and jumping around arrangement view while focusing also at the same time in editing so altogether those are really great workflow improvements hope you like them i do i will go and start making some new beats with reason 13.